This is Steve Feaster here with BCX Bootcamp, and I wanted to give a shout out to GNC's Beyond Raw line. I've been taking the raw products for over a month now, and I have come up with a workout that is worthy of being raw. So raw today stands for ridiculous butt-kicking workout. It's all done with a kettlebell. I have six exercises, all gonna be done with a 25-pound kettlebell. You guys create the resistance for you. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, you could use a weight, um, but I'm gonna use a kettlebell. All right, we're about to get started on our six exercises. 10 reps each. All first performed with the right hand on the kettlebell and then the left. First exercise is an oblique crunch. Got to lift that right shoulder blade up. Keep this arm vertical and active the whole time. Straight up. Two. Three. I'm squeezing diagonal across. Four. I exhale as I go up. Give me 10 reps, oblique crunches. After 10 oblique crunches in the right hands, we move to a get up. Guys, a Turkish get up is a little more complicated. Has to be done correctly to be safe. Keep this arm active and straight. It has to remain vertical all the time. First thing with the get up, we roll up to this elbow, post this foot and push straight up. I'm on my elbow, I move to my hand. Now I'm gonna to move to my left knee. Again, I keep this hand straight up and I push all the way up. Return down and back to my down position. 10 times. All right, after 10 reps on the right of oblique crunches, 10 reps on the right of get-ups, we're moving on to snatches. Kettlebell snatches are somewhat complicated, so if you're not used to it, let's start off with the dumbbell. You're gonna drive in your hip, you bring it straight up the body and press. Straight up the body and push. Keep this active shoulder. Straight up. If you are using a kettlebell like I am, make sure that you use the good technique. First is a clean, almost a press, all in one motion in a snatch. Up, rotate it around the wrist and push. Bring it back down to the shoulder on the way down. 10 reps, guys, keep working. All right, so now we're starting to breathe even harder. We're starting to get a full body workout. We're moving into a kettlebell hip drive. But I want to use the same hand, the right hand. So we're using a, a unilateral hip drive. Thumb is going to go right under my bottom and straight up. We aren't switching hands. We're going to stay on the right. Use your hips. I'm not bending forward. I'm sinking straight down. Thumb goes back. 10 reps. The next exercise are overhead lunges. Go ahead and snatch that kettlebell up. Make sure you maintain active shoulder and a locked elbow on these. Keep that shoulder up. Don't let the elbow bend. Lunges. Right arm is up, right leg is back. 10 reps. All right, last exercise, we're gonna to get to use both arms, give that right side a little bit of a rest. It's a goblet squat. Take the horns and point them down. All right, under the chin, stay in tight to the chest, elbows are in tight. Make sure we have good midline stabilization. The weight is on your heels. Make sure your knees and toes are lined up. Again, 10 squats. All right, we need to go back and repeat that again on the left side, 10 reps each. No rest in between. Now we want to do three rounds of everything. Three rounds on the right, three rounds on the left. But alternate right, then left, then go back and do two more rounds. All right guys, get it done. Make it raw.